They really are beautiful animals, really smart animals. Very large brains for body size. It's hard to hide in the ocean, but the Hawaiian bobtail squid is a master of disguise. During the day, if they're disturbed from the sand, they'll come out and just sit on the surface with a sand coat on them, trying to be invisible. And if that doesn't work, they'll eject out ink and leave that blob of ink behind in their shape. Their camouflage strategy at night is even more amazing. Luminous bacteria actually live inside the squid's body and light up its underside, helping it hide from predators. So they're emitting ventral light. They're camouflaged against the moon or the starlight so that they don't cast a shadow. And so as not casting a shadow, it's like a Klingon cloaking device. With support from the National Science Foundation, biologist Margaret McFall Nye studies the squid's remarkable light organ, the small pouch that's home to the cloaking bacteria Vibrio fisheri. Its structure has a lot of similarities to an eye. We can look at all parts of the light organ, so all parts of where the bacteria go into the light organ and then reside. To better understand how the bacteria take up residence inside the squid, McFall Nye's team studies the babies under the microscope. These protrusions right here, which we call appendages, help to filter, basically bring in bacteria from the seawater. So, you know, you kind of have this little cave, this kind of nest that the squid makes for the bacteria. We bring the eggs into the egg room. Nell Bacaris goes to Hawaii three or four times a year to collect adult squid off Oahu. Back in the lab, she oversees the squid condos and the nursery. I mate the squid every two weeks. A female will generally lay eggs about every three to five days. This clutch is a fairly good size, probably 200 eggs or so. Analyzing this squid bacteria symbiosis could help develop new camouflage materials for the military or lead to new pharmaceuticals to fight bacterial infections. At the very basic level, we're asking how animal cells talk to bacterial cells. A conversation worth listening in on. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.